firstly, some disclaimers. Do not harass the subject of this video whatsoever, and because this video is a commentary, it falls under fair use. Secondly, I would like to say two more things before we begin. Firstly, I must apologize for my misgendering of doodle tones throughout my Space Engine chat. That was a genuine mistake that I will correct from now on. Lastly, I want this situation to end as swiftly and as amicably as possible, so this should be my only response. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So, as you the viewer probably know already, Doodle Tones made a response to a Space Engine chat a couple days ago. I made sure to watch it in full to ensure that I had full context to the points she was trying to make in the video, and I have to say that it is fundamentally flawed in one crucial way. At the very beginning of her response to me, Doodle Tones says this. Anyway, since this is kind of a sit and chat string of conscious kind of video, there is no script, so he kind of meanders on a bit about the game he's playing at various points in the video, so... However, as the video went on, I observed that she treated the Space Engine chat as less of a stream of consciousness and more of a genuine, well thought out, and well researched critique of the art community specifically. I started the Space Engine chat series back in October of 2020, having abandoned it in November of the same year for one simple reason. It was crude content. My idea for the series was essentially for me to talk about various things that I happened to be interested in at the time of recording, which varied wildly, as would any blog with a similar idea in mind. For example, in the very first Space Engine chat that I uploaded, I talked about a myriad of topics, most notably a series of books that I read back around middle or high school, hence the title of that particular chat. I also mentioned in that same video that I was inspired by a YouTuber by the name of Venera13 Studios, now called Venera13, who has a series titled Getting Lost in Space Engine that has gone on for several years now and also has a similar format to mine. I made sure to watch Venera 13's most recent Getting Lost in Space Engine entry in full, and the similarities between his series and my Space Engine chats are no coincidence. Both of us commentate over footage of Space Engine, and both of our commentaries are done in a stream of consciousness type of style, with us talking about whatever interests us with Venera13 happening to have an interest in space-related topics, while I have an interest in internet and art-related topics. Hell, I even admit in the description of the Space Engine chat that I uploaded right after the one with me talking about Doodle Tones that I ramble incoherently about various subjects in the series. The series was never intended to be taken as a well-thought-out critique series at all, and that goal was certainly not in my mind when I decided to begin the series. It was merely intended as filler content that I have now gone past. I will admit that I did provide some of my thoughts about Doodle Tones in the video, but those statements were purely a consequence of me happening to be interested in discussing her at the time of recording. They were never meant to be taken as seriously as she took them whatsoever. If I had decided to make a well-researched and well-thought-out critique about Doodle Tones, I would have done the following things. First, focus on more recent events and content. Doodle Tones brings up the fact that I talk about years old videos and situations at various points in her video, and if the Space Engine chat had been intended to be taken seriously, that would be a fair point against me. In my opinion, when doing critiques, focusing on more recent events is a mandatory thing for people to do. If they look back at the past, but not the present, they would get an outdated picture of the individual that they are critiquing. Secondly, I would make a script. In the current series that I'm focusing on nowadays, I always make sure to make a script so that my thoughts are as coherent and focused as possible. Coherency is a critical thing for a critique to have, and without it, it would fall apart instantly. Space Engine chats never had that coherency to begin with, particularly because they were always unscripted. So when they are taken as a genuinely serious critique, they seem to fall apart. And lastly, I would research. This draws into the first thing I would do a bit, but research is again critical for a critique because a lack of it means that an incorrect or oversimplified picture of the individual would be presented. 
I did not have any information about several things Doodletones discusses in her video, with her relationship with Pondersprocket being an example of this, because I never even planned to research stuff for the Space Engine Chat series to begin with. Sure, I do look up things from time to time in the series, but that is baseline on-the-fly research. I would have put more effort into it if it were a critique and not a stream-of-consciousness-style commentary. So, to summarize, back in October of 2020, I, having been inspired by another YouTuber series, decided to make my very own series emulating said YouTuber. I then abandoned said series in the following month due to the stream-of-consciousness-style format not being the best type of content out there. Doodletones then comes in and assumes, based on the current series I am making, that the Space Engine Chat series was actually supposed to be a serious, well-thought-out critique series, and based her response on that assumption. However, based on what I have said throughout this video, that assumption is built upon a misunderstanding of the purpose of Space Engine Chat. I speculate that, based on what has happened so far, that Doodletones searched up her name, I also assume that she does this quite often, saw the Space Engine chat that has me talking about her, then saw that I had a DeviantArt critique series, assumed that Space Engine chat was also a critique series based on the content I've made recently, and then proceeded to respond to that particular episode of Space Engine chat without going into the rest of the series at all with that assumption in mind. This resulted in a misunderstanding that should not have happened in the first place. Again, despite me giving some off-the-cuff opinions about her and her art, Doodletones should not have taken that Space Engine chat as seriously as she would with a serious critique. With that being said though, I am still open to criticism. I have always been seeking out flaws in my content so that I can make content of better quality, and people have come forward with some genuine criticism that I have taken in mind in the past and will continue to do so in the future. I hope that we can move on from this drama as soon and peacefully as possible. Well, as always, thanks for watching.